Greetings today. In the well-known hymn, Have Thine Own Way, the words of the first verse go like this. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will, while I am waiting, yielded and still. It can be comforting for us to think we're in God's hands like clay for the potter, and that he is working all things together for our good. But to be as molding clay in our Father's hands isn't ours automatically. It requires surrendering our will to his, and patiently waiting for his leading, as we see in the last part of the first verse of this song. Scriptural inspiration for this song can be found in Isaiah 64, 8 and Jeremiah 18, 3 to 10, with verse 8 saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hands, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. To become as clay for our Heavenly Father to mold naturally implies a choice of desiring His will for our lives and keeping it. But as a potter can only use fresh clay for shaping his work, so we need to be fully malleable for the Lord to perfect his will in us. There may be things from our past lives without Christ that seem to be of value, things we believe to be of use for the Lord and never give up. But the Bible says that there is no good in us naturally, and such things from the past can really hinder the work of the master potter and the true lordship of Christ. We need to bring it before him and let him decide what stays and what goes. The Apostle Paul faced this type of stumbling block due to his past as a Pharisee. He was highly regarded among Jewish leaders and with an unsurpassed knowledge of Scripture, which ultimately hurt Jesus' cause rather than helping it. He needed to put away his advantage past as a Pharisee for the Lord to transform him into a child of God. We can read of Paul's self-denial and surrender to Christ in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 9, which says, But what things were gained to me, those things I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Brethren, there may be qualities of our lives which have value in the flesh, but please don't hold on to anything which might prevent the Lord from completely shaping you into a new vessel for, for his purpose. Examine every practice in your life in the light of God's word, not seeking the approval of men, but God who loved us first by sending his son Jesus to die for our sins. May God bless you today.